Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here, and today I've got very something very very special to show you. Um, this little package has arrived from the UK, and if you can already recognise, yes, they are Sandow's uh, Spring Rip dumbbells. Except, except, believe it or not, uh, I just want you to see this. Compare my size hand to the dumbbells themselves, and you will realise what these actually are. I mean, these are obviously way too small for my hands these are rare children's spring grip dumbbells made by sandow um, as i've mentioned in the past sandow uh well eugene sandow tried to cater the spring grip dumbbell system to all peoples he basically advocated uh, the use of his bodybuilding system to not just men but also women and children and i'm very lucky to have acquired a complete set in its case um, yes of course it's a little rusty but you can see the original um, nickel plating I'm going to go through the dumbbell with you and of course with the charts and some very rare ads and stuff inside um, I'll just quickly demonstrate the dumbbell for you uh, it's probably no more than two pounds it's extremely light uh, but you can see there let me focus if I can well it's kind of rubbed itself off but it does say Sandell's patent. Let's look at the other side. There you go. Sandell's patent. Patent, as you can clearly read, the the, the um, bolts are in there, and they only used to hold for children two springs, right? I mean, I can't really. I mean, it barely fits my hand. You can see my my fingers kind of around the actual um, bell of the dumbbell because it's so so tiny. They really are so tiny. They're kind of cute, actually. Um, my kids, when they saw them, they just wanted to start playing with them. Of course, I was like, no, 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 don't touch it. It's extremely rare material. Um, so, yeah, they were, of course, used by children um, to also uh, work on the light dumbbell system. And um, what I really enjoy is the novelty of this particular uh, dumbbell set. Because I'm going to really go through now in great detail the cardboard box. I hope you can see what I'm showing you here, but um, try and look past the 30 pence signs. Here we have an image of Sandow, dressed like a gentleman, holding a man who just tried to punch him. I hope you can see Sandow's hand, actually. But he's, he's grabbing his hand. This guy's... Uh, there, there's Sandow's hand right there. He's grabbing the guy, and he's crushing his, his, um, his fist because he tried to, like, you know touch or, or, or hit Sandow and Sandow with the grip of his hand just crushes his his uh, fist and you can see the guy squirming his, uh, his legs going up he's dropped his hat right um, it's amazing it's a fantastic caricature what else is amazing is that behind Sandow I don't know whether you can see but it says his specialties and it's actually a shop it's depicting a shop selling Sandow's goods and the bodybuilding items of the time so we've got here spring grip dumbbells if you can see carefully, Indian clubs, a barbell running down here, and even a photo of a strongman, which I assume is Eugene Sandow, in a shop, in, in like something like Sandow shop. Incredible. Fantastic. So I love the artwork on this particular uh, cardboard box. And you've got some wonderful um, here and wonderful Sandow's latest patent, patent all, all over the world, the Spring Grip Dumbbell, a box with a, yeah. You can see that. Uh, I don't know what it says. Am Amicus Humani Gen Generis? I'm not exactly sure what that means in Latin. Uh, but I think it translates something to friend of humanity. Something like that. Um, yeah, the, the box is, is extremely interesting as well here on the side. It says, as you can clearly read. Let me just move this without trying to wreck it. It's so fragile. But you can see it says here, for children, right? It's for children, this particular dumbbell set. I've put the light on because um, uh, the light in this room where I work is not very good, I have to admit. Now, let's put these aside very carefully without wrecking them so that I can now show you the, um, the stuff that's inside. I haven't opened it yet because I don't like opening things too many times, especially old antique things because then they tend to flake and break and... And yeah, so, so just bear with me. What have we got here? We've got uh, an original, let's see, 
advertisement. Prices of Sandow's Spring Grip Dumbbells, as I mentioned, there were some for, I'm not going to open this up, as you can see, ladies, youth, sorry, youths, nickel plated, ladies, boys, girls, children's, men's, black enameled. So you can see, um, I'm telling you the truth, uh, Sandow basically created dumbbells for everybody, for the whole family, you know, <laughs> so everyone got, um, got healthy. Sandow Spring Grip Dumbbells, it's obviously an, an advertisement from, uh, his uh, warehouse and office in London at the time. What else have we got here? Very carefully, very carefully go through all of this. Oh yeah, Alex Ardenti, if you're watching this, I finally have an original Plasmon ad. I can't believe this. This is super Plasmon. Now, for those of you that have followed me um, long enough will know that Eugene Sandow was probably the first bodybuilder in history to promote supplements. Plasmon essentially was like a whey protein, a type of lactal albumin. Um, and it was developed, I think, in Germany for the army, where the army would basically survive on that for weeks. And um, he, of course, used it. He was on a high-protein diet, probably one of the first athletes to ever be on a high-protein diet. Let's flick through this. This is a true piece of history. So it's an actual book. <laughs> it's a book on on um, Plasmon, a little book. Wow, this is awesome. And it's got oh yeah. So this is a book, even with the recipes. Um, yeah, this is recipes and uh, yeah. <laughs> this is awesome. It's got recipes on how to use Plasmon in your in your food. Right, so you can have a high protein. It's kind of basically the very high, first high protein cookbook using um, Plasmon, which is the protein supplement, uh, as the additive in your food to make it high protein. It's I, I can't believe this is this is a high protein cookbook from well over a hundred years ago. We've got plasmid granulated powder, plasmid biscuits, plasmid chocolate, plasmid cocoa, beef plasmid. You know, like today we've got. High protein chocolate, high protein biscuits, high protein everything. That's essentially what this is. It's just a, an ad for one of the first, I guess, um, supplements in the, the, the probably the first supplement in the entire world. Uh, very historic piece there. Uh, pretty, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Let's see, this is this is the, the the lovely things that come with each with each dumbbell set. Truly amaze me that they are true historical pieces. What have we got? This is like a letter now. Yeah, important notice from Mr. Sandow. Mr. Sandow. What does Mr. Sandow have to say? Oh, yeah. So he uh, now gives his endorsement on Plasmon. Wow, I've never seen a letter like this from Eugene Sandow. But yeah, as you can see, um, he writes at the bottom, As far as I personally am concerned, I certainly should never like to be without Plasmon. As I mentioned, Plas um, Eugene Sandow was uh, the first athlete in the world to actually um, endorse a protein supplement uh, called Plasmon. So this is just a letter uh, confirming what I just said. <laughs> there you go. Um, and I guess this is the rest of the, uh, the contents. Here we go. We've got an original chart. For the children's dumbbell set, although I have to admit it's in absolute tatters. It's torn. Oh, that's a real shame. It really is. It's torn. Well, it's to be expected when it is this old. So this one half, this is the other. It's just torn in half. It's a real shame. And what else have we got here? This is the other piece of the uh, chart. Yeah, it's just in, in pieces. It's a real shame. But you can see the children, the child here, the boy, performing the light dumbbell system. Fantastic. Fantastic. And what else have we got here? Final little advertisement from Sandow. Oh, right. Sandow's Embrocation. I finally found it. Thank you. <laughs> this is great. An ad for Sandow's Embrocation. Basically, it was like a uh, an ointment you used to uh, put on yourself after you did the light dumbbell system to help you with recovery so it was like a um i think i think it was something like a 
like a hot hot uh, oil kind of thing you know those ointments that you put on and it goes really warm yeah and, and allows for circulation so you can see oh here we go this is what i mean see so you're supposed to massage it onto your muscles and uh, it's supposed to help with recovery as you can see massage with embrocation firmly using fingertips along back of forearm la -da -da, around the neck everywhere right so that's the whole point that's the whole point it's fantastic and it's supposed to help with everything look at that apparently if you use sandals embrocation which is the best on the market it's supposed to help with sciatica cramping bruises sprains overstraining of the muscles etc and even sore throats and colds etc wow <laughs> so yeah that's uh sandals embrocation there you go there you go so i do hope uh you've enjoyed looking at another one of my little treasures that i've now uh, purchased from the uk thank you to the person that sent me this truly a piece of history um yeah what can i say i'm, I'm growing my physical culture museum day by day sharing it with you so you can see what um, will eventually be on display uh, for those that eventually come to visit when it opens which should be in several years because I, as you can see i'm still acquiring uh, many pieces but i am trying to as you can see uh, acquire important pieces in bodybuilding history if you have enjoyed watching this video on sandals spring grip dumbbell for children please give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't to the golden era bookworm leave me a comment and thank you for watching and yeah if you'd like to support my research acquisition of these pieces for my physical culture museum please um uh, donate via paypal become a patron visit my website www.goldenerabookworm.com for how to print books and courses and please uh, contact me via email if you wish to pass on your bodybuilding relics or literature uh, that's it for me this is the golden era bookworm bye for now